So hi and welcome to this video. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be finishing off the uh, rating system on the videos. So uh, as you can see here, we can click like um, over and over and over again on a video and um, it will let us like a video more than once. And what we want is we want to actually only make it so you can only like the video uh, once and or dislike it once. But we want to also allow people to be able to change their mind. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set it so that when you click like, um, the like button uh, becomes inactive and the dislike button stays active so that you can change your mind and um, decide which one you want to do. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video, so let's get started. So we're back in our uh, video watch page file and um, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to um, the code where we display the like button and the dislike button. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like whenever we um, set one of them to disabled so that we can't use it. So if I just type in disabled, um, just like this with uh, no value, or I mean no equals and no quotes or anything after it. I just type in that word and I put it at the end of the input type. Uh, and I click uh, back over the web page and refresh. What you'll see is now the like button is disabled and I can't click on it. So whenever I try to click on it nothing happens so uh, but the uh, dislike button still works so that's what we're gonna do in this video we're gonna set it so that whenever each whichever one of these uh, you click becomes disabled so you can't click it again um, on the same video so to do this what we need to do is we first need to um, uh, well we actually need to go into our uh, ratings table and what we, we want to do is we actually want to um, empty it and by emptying it what this will do what this does is um it uh, just gets rid of everything in the table so this way what it mean what happens is uh we start with uh, no likes in this video and no dislikes because at the moment we have a load of likes and a load of dislikes and if uh, that'll just mess up our code if we don't correct it first so what we want to do is we want to click ok to uh, truncate the ratings table which basically just means delete so whenever we've deleted that if we come back here and refresh, what will happen is the um, the uh, what the uh, ratings bar should actually disappear because there's uh, no ratings to display. Okay, so I just had to refresh uh, again because the uh, table didn't uh, delete quick enough. But there, uh, it's gone now. So what happens now is if we click on like once. What this will do is it just likes it, obviously. So we'll get a, one, a green bar here that is 100% green and there's no red in it. If we scroll down, as you can see, we have a full green bar now. So what we want to do now is we want to uh, set the like button to disabled if the um, if the uh, person has liked the video. So here I am in the ratings table, um, and as you can see, we have one rating, and it's, uh, it contains the video ID, the type of the rating, which is in this case like, and the user who liked it. So what we want to do is we want to query this table, and we want to check, did the person like the uh, video? So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually going to do that, uh, and we want to check this whenever the page loads, not whenever um, a button is pressed. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come up here, and we're going to go above this just here in the PHP block, and what we're going to do is we're going to um, just query the database and see if the person has liked the video. So I'll just put a comment in uh, to check if the person has liked the video. So. So I'm just going to put a comment in here and I'm just going to say um, check if you uh, if already liked slash disliked. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say um, check underscore. Um, so I'm just going to say check underscore L equals MySQL query. And what I'm going to say is I'm just going to say select um, uh, whoops I'm going to say select type from um, whoops from readings where um, video underscore ID equals the variable video ID and we got this variable just because it's the get variable at the top of this file as you can see here 
so what we want to do is we just want to check if it's the uh, video ID for that video. And what we want to also check is and um, user. Let's just have a look at the uh, row in the database for um, the ratings. Okay, so the row for the uh, username, like the row name for whoever, okay, this here, uh, row name is username. And this means that um, if we check this uh, for the uh, word Francis, um, which is which we, we are checking because I'm logged in as Francis, so uh, we check it against my username. So if we check against that and we check um, against the video ID as well, we'll be able to check whether I've actually liked the video or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say we're use. Uh, I actually have to say username as well as video ID, uh, and I just say username equals user. Uh, let's try user username and what I want to do now is I just want to uh, hit enter once just to make a new line I'm just gonna say um, if uh, my SQL num rows check underscore L Um, doesn't equal zero. So if there, um, if the video has actually got a, is if the video has been liked by me or disliked by me. So if I've just left a rating of any sort, then uh, we want to check what the rating was, or else we just want to say, um, echo, and uh, nothing. So uh, if the uh, video hasn't been liked by me, we want to do nothing because we just want the other code to show up and run. But if the uh, video has been uh, rated by me, we just want to say while uh, row, or uh, let's just say rating, uh, rating equals MySQL fetch uh, associative array. And then we just want to say check underscore L. And this just lets us uh, select all the fields from the table. And what, we, what we actually want to do is we want to change this to all because then we can get all the fields. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get the um, video ID. So video ID underscore L uh, equals rating um, video ID. And what this is doing is it's just, uh, we actually need to check. Okay, there's no underscore in the value ID, so we need to change that. So what this is just doing is it's getting the uh, value from the database of the video ID. So in our case, it's just pulling this uh, information here um, from the database. So what we want to do next is we want to say rating, uh, actually we can't use that variable. I'll just say rating underscore L equals um, rating uh, type. Let's actually change that to type. And then user underscore L equals rating username. So now that we've got that, what we want to do is we just want to echo um, type, which uh, in our case will just echo the word like out onto the page. So if we come over back to our video watch page, uh, and we click refresh. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a, a undefined variable, so that's okay. All we need to do is come back into our code and change this to the variable user. Uh, and then let's try it again. And as you can see now, we are correctly pulling the, um, the uh, row out of the database and we get the word like. If I was to click dislike now as well, we'd actually get like and then dislike uh, printed beside or echoed beside it. But um, to make sure we don't mess up the code and have to delete the table again, or I mean empty the table again, I'm not going to um, click either button for now. So uh, when we've done that, now that we've uh, got the type, uh, what we also want to do is we want to um, set uh, the video or the uh, buttons so that they're disabled. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come in here. And it's really simple. All we have to do is create a variable, and we're just we're just going to echo the variable, and we're going to call the variable d, 
and we're just going to copy it again and paste it down here. And what this variable is, is it's going to be uh, equal to nothing unless the um, the uh, video has been liked already. Or I mean, yeah, if the video hasn't been rated, then it's going to be equal to nothing. So that way um, the uh, buttons won't be disabled. But if it has been, if the video has been rated, then um, the uh, correct button will be um, set to disabled. And what we actually need to do is write D and then D2 because we need the two variables to be separate and uh, different from each other. So what we want to say up here, instead of echo not or echo nothing, what we want to do is we just want to say D equals and um, whoops nothing and D2 equals nothing. So what this will do is it just sets the variables equal to nothing so that our code will uh, run just like it should. So if we refresh again, nothing's going to happen. It's just going to uh, Oops, it's just going to get rid of the like up here, and for some reason we have an undefined variable. Um, okay, the reason we have the undefined variable is because it's, we're not actually running this block because um, um, the uh, rating actually does exist. I have created a rating, so we're actually going to run this block. But if I hadn't created a rating, it would run this block, and that's and this is what the block the um, variables are defined in. So if I wanted to. Uh, get rid of this error all I'd have to do is copy and paste this up here and this way it would since it's running this first block here this first block in the if statement um, then the variables get uh, defined up here because they weren't actually defined because they were defined in a block that wasn't being executed so as you can see now the error is gone so what we want to do is we just want to say we want to get the actual type of the video so since we, we have actually uh, selected the type from the database we want to just do a check of which type it is so if I was to say if um, whoops type is equal to like then we're gonna set uh, D equal to uh, disabled and then I'll just say else uh, the only other option is uh, if it's a dislike so or else we're just going to set um, D2 to disabled and to prevent errors we're actually going to come back up here and copy and paste these two variables uh, just to define them so that we don't get any undefined variable errors. So uh, let's try that now and what should happen is the like button should get disabled. And as you can see now, the like button is disabled, uh, so we can only we can't like the video again. But if we dislike it now, it's just going to uh, create a, another dislike. Um, so if I click this, it's just going to set both buttons to now be um, disabled. Okay, so uh, actually it works the way we want it to, but I can like it again. But as you can see, it didn't remove my previous like. So what we want to do is we. Um, want to set it so that whenever you click um, submit on the uh, like button so what we want to do is we want to set it so that if you click um, uh, if you click on uh, either one of these buttons when you've already clicked on one it uh, actually set just updates your um, previous um, rating instead of actually um, adding a new one so unfortunately we've run out of time in this video so we'll have to do that in the next video so thanks for watching don't forget to like comment rate and subscribe and i'll see you next time